the fourth beast, Daniel chapter 7 and verse 7. After this I saw in the night vision, and behold, the fourth beast, dreadful and terrible, exceedingly strong. It had huge iron teeth. It was devouring, breaking in pieces, and trampling the residue with its feet. It was different from all the beasts that were before it, and it had ten horns. The ten horns are ten kings who shall rule from this kingdom, and another shall arise from them. He shall be different from the first ones, and shall subdue three kingdoms, and shall intend to change times and laws. Then the saint shall be given into his hand for a time and times and a half time. The period is given as a time a times and a half time. How are we to understand this? A time represents 360, a times 720, and a half time 180. This adds up to a total of 1260. This is confirmed for us in Revelation chapter 12. See verses 14 and then verse 6. The time periods mentioned in these verses are identical as the context would show but they are numbered in different ways 1260 days is equivalent with three and a half times and so back in Daniel we conclude the father awarded the little arm of the beast a 1260 year period of power The great and terrible fourth beast is the pagan Roman Empire, whilst the little arm symbolises the Holy Roman Empire and the papacy, having mouth and eyes. The Holy Roman Empire was founded over a period of time, which led up to Charlemagne being crowned emperor of the Holy Roman Empire in 800 AD. The time period ends when the power to persecute the saints of the Most High has come to an end, but when did it start? The time period, however, measures the lifespan of the little Arn itself, and the Arn, being the Holy Roman Empire, couldn't persecute the faithful before it was established. Notice from verse 24 that the little Arn arose from the fall of three Arns before it, the Arns symbolise the Gothic kingdoms of Europe. In 773 AD, Charlemagne defeated the Lombards and added northern Italy to his dominions. He fought in Spain in 778 AD and was crowned emperor on Christmas Day, 800 AD. The little Arn therefore came to power we would suggest with the crowning of Charlemagne in 800 AD. Now if we were to add 1260 years to this it would bring us to the year 2060 after which verses 26 and 27 indicate his dominion would be taken away to consume and destroy and his power given to the saint of the most I, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominions shall serve him. But the courts shall be seated, and they shall take away his dominion, to consume and destroy it for ever. Then the kingdom and dominion, and the greatness of the kingdoms under the whole heaven, shall be given to the people, the saints of the Most I. His kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominions shall serve and obey him.